Do Storkcraft cribs pass safety standards? Yes, they meet or exceed all Canadian and U.S. standards, and the cribs are certified by the Juvenile Products Manufacturers Association. How long has Storkcraft been manufacturing dropside cribs? We have been manufacturing dropside cribs since at least 1953, so about 56 years. So then, why are they being recalled now? Good question. About a year or so ago, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, uh, known as the CPSC, became sensitive to the number of incidents involving plastic dropside hardware on cribs. As a result, millions of cribs were recalled. Storkcraft cribs were not recalled at that time. For the past several months, we have been transitioning to non-dropside cribs. Currently, we do not sell any Storkcraft cribs with a functional dropside. The recall of our cribs now, in my view, is part of the overall ideology of the CPSC to ban the manufacture of dropside cribs in the future and provide a creative fix to convert drop sides to fixed side cribs in the field. What's the remedy for all the drop side cribs that have been sold over the years? While working as a team, our Chief Operational Officer, the CPSC and Health Canada have invented a simple retrofit kit that very simply slides into place, converting a Storkcraft or Fisher-Price drop side crib to a fixed side crib. There are no tools necessary and the procedure takes just a few minutes to complete. So what is the issue with dropside cribs? Regarding the Storkcraft manufactured dropside cribs, some of which have the logo Fisher Price on them, these are the key issues. Number one, a crib is a safety device, therefore it is absolutely essential that the consumer thoroughly reads and understands all the assembly instructions and safety warnings. If the crib is assembled correctly, maintained correctly, and the safety warnings are adhered to, the cribs are safe and there will not be a problem. Number two, in the majority of incidents, the cribs are being used with broken parts, parts with missing pieces, parts that were damaged, or with modified or homemade parts. Number three, in some incidents, the crib was in a state of significant disrepair. Number four, in other cases, the consumer had installed the drop side rail upside down, contrary to the instructions that are glued to the mattress base of each crib. This causes extraordinary stress on the plastic parts that could result in breakage. And number five, many cribs were purchased secondhand and had been used multiple times by different caregivers. Do you have any advice for people contemplating buying a crib secondhand? Well, we recommend that you never buy a crib secondhand. The consumer has no idea how that crib has been maintained, how it has been stored, if all the parts are original, or even if all the parts are there for that matter, and if the product was abused during use. Moreover, this is a safety device for your baby, a place where your child will be left unattended for periods of time. It is extremely important that consumers use a new product that stays within their control. Also that the crib is assembled according to the assembly instructions. The crib is maintained and safety warnings are adhered to. For example, here are some of the critical warnings. Failure to follow these warnings and assembly instructions could result in serious injury or death. Before each usage or assembly, inspect your crib for damaged hardware, loose joints, missing parts, or sharp edges. Do not use the crib if any parts are missing or broken. Read all instructions before assembling the crib. Regularly check this product before placing your child in the crib that every component is properly and securely in place. Do not remove any part that is attached with wood screws, including the T-rails and the claws. The casters, stationary side rail, mattress base, and drop side rail can all be disassembled for storage. When removing the drop side rail, be sure to press the tab on the bottom T-rail to lift the drop side rail all the way up before disassembly. A tip is to save the box and the packaging that it came in. If you are the original purchaser and you want to use the crib for a future child, Carefully repack the crib in the original box with the original packaging making sure all parts are secured within the box. The box should then be placed in a secure location, indoors, where the contents of the box will not be exposed to excessive heat, cold, moisture, and will not have any heavy items placed on top of it. When the product is reassembled, the assembly instructions and warnings should be thoroughly reviewed again. Should there be any missing or broken parts, then the consumer should call Storkcraft. The customer service phone number is located on the large instructions and warning sticker permanently affixed to the mattress base.